Hello and thank you for viewing another entry in the Indiana University Radiology Video Education Series. This video was designed to assist in the performance and interpretation of a retrograde urethrogram fluoroscopic exam. No actual patients were used in the creation of this instructional video. All persons participating in the video were unpaid volunteers. No financial disclosures. Retrograde urethrograms are frequently performed during after hours on call. Common indications include pelvic trauma with blood at the meatus, pelvic trauma with mechanisms suspicious for urethral injury, for example, pelvic diastasis, saddle injury and inability to void, difficulty passing fully, and stricture assessment. Materials needed include an 8 French Foley catheter, Foley catheterization tray, a 60 milliliter catheter tip syringe, and full strength contrast. Step 1. Test inflate Foley balloon. Then, using 60 milliliter catheter tip syringe, fill the catheter with contrast and leave syringe attached. Step 2. Using sterile technique, insert the Foley catheter approximately 2 cm into the urethra and inflate the balloon until patient experiences some discomfort so that the catheter will not be expelled during injection. Be sure to warn the patient about this step and tell him to let you know when he is experiencing discomfort. Step 3. Place patient in the right posterior oblique position and obtain a scout radiograph. Step 4. Take first spot film with horizontal collimation to show the anterior urethra up to and including the region of the membranous urethra, represented by a single arrow. Expose the film when you observe contrast passing through the external sphincter and entering the posterior urethra and bladder. Step 5. If the anterior urethra appears normal, Change the vertical collimation and make another exposure during contrast injection, as contrast is passing through the posterior urethra and entering the bladder. The posterior urethra will not distend on the retrograde injection. Step 6. If the urethra appears normal and the clinical question is answered, the examination is finished. However, if the question involves the prostatic urethra and obstruction, the filling of the bladder and avoiding cystourethrogram should be considered. Optimally, this should be discussed with the clinician prior to the beginning of the retrograde urethrogram. Bladder filling can be achieved by switching contrast to a more dilute solution and continuing to infuse through the urethral catheter. During bladder filling, use fluoroscopy intermittently to be sure that extravasation is not occurring and to observe for ureteral reflux. Step 7. After the bladder is appropriately filled, avoiding cystourethrogram should be performed. In summary, fill Foley with contrast and leave syringe attached. Sterily insert Foley 2 cm into urethra and inflate balloon until patient experiences discomfort. Place patient in 45 degree right posterior oblique position and obtain scout image. Fluoro while you inject Foley and take single exposures to document normal course of urethra or to document any findings. If clinical question involve prostatic urethra, continue to fill the bladder and perform avoiding cystourethrogram.